Matthew 11, I'm sorry, Matthew 11, I apologize, 28, 28 through 30, amen, bless the Lord, Matthew 11, Matthew 11, verse 28 through 30, please. Come to me, all you are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy yeah. and my burden is light. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Now yeah, listen to this in the message translation. Wow. Jesus is talking to somebody right now. Mm -hmm. And he's about to give you a prescription wow. for life. Come on. Mm -hmm. To free you in this place on today. Mm -hmm. yeah. And here's what the message version says. And this is Jesus talking. But he comes with three questions. Are you tired? Yeah. Born out? Yeah. Burned out on religion? Yeah. Then he comes back and say, come to me. Mm -hmm. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Mm -hmm. Walk with me and work with me. Mm -hmm. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. Hallelujah. Yeah. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting yeah. on you. Yeah. Keep and you will learn how to live freely and lightly. If you get this concept, you will stop fighting life, stop being frustrated. When trials come, you will handle them differently. When obstacles come, you won't look at them like you did the last time. You need to get away with him. Learn grace. Grace protects us. Grace rescues us. Grace keeps us. Is anybody here tired today? Anybody worn out today? Anybody tired of religion? Come to me, he's saying. Learn of me. I'll show you how it's done. It's obviously, the way we've been doing it has not been working. And we're still trying on our own strength. We're still trying on our own way, our own yeah, yeah. Somebody get, thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody get Jeremiah 33 and 3. Oh. Amen. 33 and 3. 33 and 3. Thank you, Lord. Come on now. Come on now. I just heard the Lord say, Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call to me. And I want, hold on, back up. What? Call to me. What? Call to me. Call. Go ahead. Call to me. And I will answer you. what? Hold on. Hold on. He said, call to me. And then he'll what? and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Wait a minute, back up, back up, back up. Wow. Call to me. Mm -hmm. And I will answer you. And he will answer. And then what are you going to do? Show you. <laughs> and show you a great and mighty thing. Not just show you, but he said yeah. great, great, great and mighty yeah. things that what? Which you do not know. What does that say to you? Uh, we don't know everything. He's going to show If you want to know, go to God. That's it. You want the answer? That's go to God. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. God will never tell you nothing that you don't want to know. Yeah. And he'll never show you something that you don't want to know. Yeah. yeah. 
God. If you start oh, yeah. making this transition, God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. This woman of God and this man, they know. Yeah, yeah. They made the transition. Amen. And they're seeing the effects. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. They're they're yeah. seeing the influence. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, it will cost you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But guess what? Well, if that's it. Are you willing to pay the price? Yeah. Yeah. But he said, he that loses his life uh -huh. shall what? Come on now. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We're going to find life yeah. in a greater and better life than we yeah. ever knew, ever experienced. Yeah. Yeah. This kingdom works. Yeah. 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 The principles work. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. But you got to find yeah. them yeah. and see what God is saying to you. I'm going to go back and read that scripture myself. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Know your birthrights in the earth. Yeah. 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 Citizens, agents of change. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to make an end. We're not going to have the influence unless we do it the king's way. Yeah. Amen. And then after that, you have to understand how he's calling you to operate. Mm -hmm. yeah. You. Yeah. Can't operate like Tracy. Yeah. How he's calling you to yeah. operate yeah. in yeah. this earth. Yeah. 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 Adam turned his over, like my husband said, to an unemployed cherry. Mm -hmm. Esau sold his for a pot of stew. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Don't give yours up. Yeah. Don't forfeit. Amen. Yeah. Don't, forfeit. Yeah. Hey, man. Don't do it. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't do it. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Jesus. Don't get mad. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're here. And you're waiting on an answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And God is speaking. He said, don't leave out of here and turn a deaf ear. Yeah. To what you know I told you to do. In the direction I'm telling you to go. You turn a deaf ear, that's going to be death. It's going to be detrimental. It's going to be detrimental. you got to do it my way, God says. Yes. Yes. Haven't you noticed you've been trying it your way and it has not worked? Yes. Yep. Do it my way. Yes. That's the best way. And you'll see, you'll receive the desired results. Desired results from the king. Amen? Yes. Amen. yes. Woo. Yes. I'm going to share something that God had told me a while ago. Because he's saying to say this. And this is what we have to learn to do. And it's time. We have to if we're going to get this fully and understand it. And write this down if you haven't heard this before. It's time to put down religion's translation. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Pick up the kingdom of God's interpretation Come on. that you may experience the kingdom transformation. It's time to put down religion's translation and pick up the kingdom of God's interpretation mm -hmm. that you may experience this kingdom transformation. It's a must. Yeah. It's a must. It's a must. You got that, Lisa? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to put down religion's translation mm -hmm. and pick up the kingdom of God's interpretation that you may experience the kingdom transformation. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Amen. That's, and that's why he gave that to me. Because yeah, yeah. he just gave that to me. My husband was saying it goes back to Matthew 11. Yeah. Amen. This is serious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's ready for all of us to operate and to function as the kings and queens on this earth. Amen? Amen. Amen. He visualized and then he bought into bought into plan us walking on this earth and not only just walking but dominating. He, he, vision, he thought of that. Yeah. That was his plan. That was in his mind. Yeah. Yeah. And when he sees us not operating mm -hmm. in the purpose and yeah. the fullness of our potential, that saddens God. Mm -hmm. It does. I woke up and he said, after all these years, and God has never said this to me before, and I cried, I wept. And he said, it's not a bad thing. But I woke up Thursday morning, 
And he said, the sweet aroma of your worship is in my nostrils. Oh, my God. I cried. He's never said that to me before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What is the stench in God's nostrils? Come on. Amen. Oh, oh, when he sees us. Yes, sir. Thank you, I say, God, I finally got it. I finally got it. And I'm trying to help others to get it. Because I know the importance of it. I know the urgency. And God wants us to get this. And I just fell and I just wept. He said, I've never said that to you before, but don't look at it as a bad thing. He said, you finally just got to a place that I've been trying to get you to for a while now. And not necessarily in worship, but in his kingdom. Hallelujah. But you know, worship is only legal where? In the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. God was speaking something powerful through prophet. Thank you. I could be a crybaby sometimes. Thank you, Lord. And he was speaking something, Lord, four minutes. Powerful. And he was saying this, God is looking for a group of citizens to hear his voice from the unseen heaven, down speaking to the unseen spirit in us, mm. Mm, on the seen earth, and obey him without actually seeing him. And I was thinking of this illustration. Boo-boo, I'm sorry. Minister Lewis, <laughs> can you get behind that door? <laughs> we stay right there. I'm going behind the door. Don't reach. Don't reach. reach. Lewis, can you go to the pulpit, please? <laughs> and can you touch the pulpit? Now, am I seeing Lewis? No. no. But he's hearing me. Yeah. So that's what God, that's how he operates. Yeah. We don't see him, yes, but yet we got to hear him. Yeah. God is expecting of us yeah. yes, that we hear his voice oh ruling yes, on this scene really, yes, from the unseen yes. heaven. Amen. 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 God bless you all. I hope you've gotten something out of this message. Amen. My wife, as I was sitting there, the Lord said, make it clear. She was talking about worship. Worship is not what we used to do on a Sunday morning. That's right. That's right. That's right. When you understand kingdom, worship is not an act. It's a response. Yes. Yes. That's right. It's not when you fall down on your knees and lay down and throw your hands out. Worship is a response. And what it means is this. You understand him as Lord. Yes. Lord means owner. That he owns everything. everything. Yes. And you begin to get an attitude. You said, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. That word spirit is spelled in a lowercase letter. It means not talking about the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. The word spirit means an attitude and awareness. You have an attitude of awareness that he owns everything. Yes, sir. So therefore, you conduct your life through worship. The air you breathe belongs to him. Thank you, Father. Yes, yes. yes. The ground you're walking on belongs to him. Thank you, Father. Yes. The shoes you have on came from the cow that he created. Yes. Thank you, Father. That's an attitude of awareness that everything belongs. We've got it mixed up. We think it's when we throw our hands up and do this. That's an act. Worship is a response to understanding who the king is. He's Lord. Amen. Thank you. God said to say this, leave out of here, knowing your birthrights. Oh. It's a privilege that you were even birth with these rights. Yeah. Dominion, rule, yeah. and subdue. Go out there and change a generation, change but not just change a generation, produce oh. other generations. Yeah, right. Amen. Amen. Amen.
No doubt about it. That's right. Your kingdom foundation is getting straight. Amen. Getting stronger. Agents of change. I think Prophet Vita put it like this New Year's night. We came to start a revolution. We came to start a revolution. And when you start the revolution, you're going against the norm. We're going against religion. If you're scared, jump ship now. <laughs> Sometimes you just feel like you're in the right place. You're supposed to be. Yeah. 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 
Amen. Amen. See, that's when you walk in yes, sir. with the Lord and you've been transformed. Amen. Amen. Listen to this. That is no longer you. That's right. No longer I that live, but the Christ that's in me. Amen. Enoch walked with God, prophet being, okay. until he wasn't no more and God took him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Enoch walked with God in such a way mm -hmm. that he wasn't anymore and God took him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Have you got to that place and you'll walk with God where you are no more and God can take you? I don't mean taking you out of this territory, but taking you from this territory to a degree where it's no longer you that live, but the Christ, but the King, but the Lord that liveth in me. That's transformation. See, that's transformation. Religion can't do us like that. Because it's been trying. Right for years yeah. and still haven't gotten us to that place. Mm -hmm. But the kingdom can do it whenever you desire to give up your will uh -huh. for the will of the king. Uh -huh. yeah. He can transform you spontaneously, immediately. Uh -huh. Amen. Wow. Yes, he can. Let that marinate in your thinking because y'all are trying to calculate time. That's right. God ain't in time. God is outside of time. Use the time to measure eternity. You, you and I are still trying to calculate through time. How this happen? How can this happen? And God saying, because I said it can happen. I'm not limited by time because I established time to measure eternity. Amen. Which time is just the interruption of eternity. Yeah. We got to get out of time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all still didn't get that. Yeah, yeah. Let me throw this out here again by the spirit. You and I need to get out of time. Come on. Amen. Amen. We ain't saying that time ain't good for the process, but don't allow time to limit you. All right. All right. All right. To purpose, All right. which take us through a process. Mm -hmm. But God said, I'll be glad to what? In from the beginning. So why are you not in time to a struck? You from fulfilling purpose as if you already there. Tell somebody get out of time. Get in the kingdom. All right. Y'all still didn't get that. I see. I see some of y'all struggling in the spirit. I see some of y'all struggling in the spirit. That's right. <laughs> See, when you don't understand God, God can speak to you about tomorrow yeah. while you still stuck into yesterday. Yeah. 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 Because God is not moved by time. Amen. Amen. He's not limited by time. Amen. Amen. So God will tell you something in the future. 15 years before you get there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Come here, Deacon Epps. Right. Deacon Epps looked up at, at Providence Ward in the red jacket. Listen at this. And God back to, brought back to his memory yeah. something he showed him in a dream. Yeah. Amen. Wow. He didn't have to see a face. He seen something that was on her. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That brought him back to where he came to now. Amen. Wow. Wow. Lord, have mercy. That's where he's trying to take us in the kingdom. Yeah. Where it took you five years to do something, God said, I can give you an idea where it took you five days. Wow. Oh, amen. Oh. Amen. But it has to be appropriated through the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Of God from the kingdom of heaven. Yes, yes. See, some of y'all still trying to figure out some of the things that you've been struggling with for, for 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And God is trying to get you outside of time and in Him. Amen. Y'all yeah. pull, pull that from the Lord out of me. I, I, I ain't got no attention to go there. <laughs> time. 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 It's one of the two most important commodities that God has given to all of us. And how we spend it 